Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. For today's fun video, I want to show you guys how to draw a Nutcracker surprise fold. And I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas from Artland. I hope you guys get to spend it with family and friends, and I hope you guys have an awesome day today. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, to start off with our Nutcracker surprise fold, we need to prepare our paper. The first thing we want to do is fold it in half. You want to line up your corners and make a nice fold so it looks like a card. Next, you take your paper and just fold down the front flap right to this fold and fold it down. This way you can open it up this way or you can turn it and you can open it up this way. Now to start off with our Nutcracker surprise fold, we're going to begin with the head. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make a nice line that's going to curve up and then it comes right down to here. Next I'm going to draw a little line that goes down on each side, not too far. And I'm going to make a nice straight line across. Now I'm going to give my Nutcracker a big mouth, so I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and then I'll draw another line over here that comes up. And then we're going to make a nice line across and make sure these lines go all the way to your fold. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a straight line across and then I'm going to make a couple little lines going down here for the teeth. Now starting here, we're going to draw a tall skinny rectangle for the nose. And right here I'm going to draw a line across and then another line across for the eye. Then just add a big sad face on top for each one. Inside of here I'm going to add a circle. Then I'm going to add another circle, and I'm going to color in most of this except for a little white dot. So I'll add another circle, and then I color in most of it except for a little white dot. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve up, down, it's going to go over, and then come back for a mustache. Same thing here, I'm going to curve up and down, it's going to go up, and then come right back to here. Now, up here we're going to add the hat. I'm going to draw a little line that goes up. It's going to curve around and then come down to here. And then I'm going to draw two lines that go up with a little line across to connect them. I'm also going to add some lines that go up and down, up and down, and then one more time for a little crown on our nutcracker. And then I'm going to add a few little circles on here. I'm also going to put a small bump right at the top. You can also give your Nutcracker some circles for cheeks. And I like to give my Nutcracker some eyebrows too. Starting here, I'm going to add some hair. So I'm just going to make some lines that go out and come in, out and in, out and in. We're going to go to about here. And I'll do the same thing here. Go out and in, out and in, and then out and then in right above the fold. Now starting here, I want to add the beard. I'm going to add some little zigzag lines that go down. And then once you get down to the bottom, I'm going to bring them up here. Starting here at the edge of the face, make a line that goes down here, and then one that goes down here. Let's draw a line that goes straight across with two lines in the middle. Then make a nice skinny rectangle for part of the belt and the belt buckle. Now right here we're going to draw two lines that go up. 
And over here, I'm going to, we'll start up here a little bit. I'm gonna make a line that goes out. It's gonna go down and then over. And same thing here, we're gonna go out, down, and over. Line that goes down and over. Another one that goes down and over here. Then we'll add a little circle shape for the hands. I'm gonna add a little line across and one here for the sleeves. And then a couple little bumpy lines for some details on the shoulder pads. Maybe a little circle or two on here. And I'll also add a button on each side. So here's our nutcracker. Now we have to open it up. Now when you open up your nutcracker, you have this big open space in here that we need to fill up. The first thing I need to do is I need to connect this line down to here. So this is going to be the hardest part. You just want to go nice and straight down and then I want to do the same thing over here. So we're going to come down right to here. Now you also want to draw these two lines down. So I'm going to draw a line that goes right down to here. And then I'm also going to draw a line that goes right down here. And I'm going to add a little line across here just to help show where the teeth are. Now, inside your nutcracker, you can draw whatever you want to. I'm going to go and I'm going to just kind of make it look like it's a little more realistic. So I'm going to add a tongue in here. I'm going to start here by just drawing a little line that goes down. And I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve around. And then another one here that's going to curve around and go down. And they're going to connect with a big curve. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes up on each side. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, and that's going to curve up for like the back of the throat. Now, a nutcracker is used for cracking nuts, so we want to see the normal little nutcracker here. Then when we open it up, we want to see all of the nuts that it's cracked open. Now, you want to make sure that you only put them here, 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 and here. Because if you don't, then when somebody opens it up, or when it's closed, you might see some of the nuts there. So you want to make sure that they're only in these two spots here. Now, there's lots of different ways that we can draw these, and we'll just kind of keep them simple. So I'm going to start with like a peanut shape here. I'm going to make a line that's going to curl around like this. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to go up. I'm going to curl around again and then bring it back down. I'm going to add some curved lines right along here. And then I'm going to add a few more going down here. Now starting here, I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to add a little curve line here. And another one that's gonna curve around and then come up here. I'm gonna add some little lines going down and then some little lines across here. Now, starting here, I wanna add like a broken little like walnut shape. I'm gonna begin by making a line that's going to curve around here and it's gonna go up and then I'm going to go down and curve this up here. Then I'll make a little line that goes across and another little line right here. Then right here I'm going to add kind of like a bumpy line to kind of show what the inside of the walnut would look like and then we'll just connect these lines here. Then I'm gonna add just a couple little wiggly lines on here. And a few wiggly lines here too. 
Then I'm gonna draw like the other half of the walnut over here. So we're gonna make a little line that's gonna curve around. Make a curve here. A little line here with a little curve line in there. Then I'm just going to add some more wiggly little lines here. Then I'm going to add just a couple little kind of circle shapes and random spots here just to make it look like he's kind of been cracking the nuts. We'll add a couple more here. And then I'm going to put another little smaller one over here. Just draw a little line, it's gonna curl around. Add a couple little lines on it. And there you go, there is your drawing of a cartoon nutcracker surprise fold so when it's all closed up it looks like the nutcracker and then when you open it up he's got all of these little nuts that he's cracking everywhere but there you go i'm going to fast forward and start coloring this thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed